Hello fellow makers, Paul Gould here with a new project made from parts lying around the house. The robotic table soccer could be a solution for people in these social distancing times. There will only be one part of this project. Part 2 would involve ball tracking. Solutions of either optical RF, capacitive inductive or radar tracking could be too close to the stuff I do at work and I wouldn't be able to share it. This project started a few weeks ago while chatting to a friend about table soccer and watching a forklift unload a truck. As some forklifts use mechanum wheels, I wondered whether these wheels could be modified to drive a shaft in two dimensions. I originally called it an inverted mechanum wheel, but this has sort of been done before and called a threadless lead screw. The principal operation is when two drives turn in opposite directions, the shaft moves side to side, turn the drives in the same direction and the shaft rotates. A brushless motor turns each drive via a timing belt. The first prototype had no feedback and used differential motor position control. When I got the little player to kick the ball, it really made me laugh, but it also meant that this could actually work. One of the main problems with mechanum wheels or threadless lead screws, the amount of slippage varies with the load. The slippage varies between 1 and 100%. In the second prototype, I attempted rotational control with a quadrature optical encoder with linear independence. It had the problem of losing counts. The slots were not uniform, the shaft was not centred, and the robot Lego wheels would rub off onto the shiny parts of the shaft. This would get worse over time. As my kids are now being homeschooled, I've been teaching my 10 year old CAD. She made the female player. All of my projects have a kid mode which restricts speed or power. These prototypes are limited to about 2% of the motor's power. The third and final prototype was much better. It has both linear and rotational magnetic encoders. The right size has a long diametric magnet hidden inside the shaft. The four Hall effect sensors are arranged in a circle around the shaft. 
they are connected to the PSOC 5 controller running Cordex software. This gives 12-bit angular resolution, most likely not very linear, but good enough for this application. The left size has a series of north-north-south-south magnets inside the shaft. The magnets repeat every 20mm, the four holopec sensors are spaced 5mm apart and are also connected to the PSOC 5 controller running separate multipole Cordex software. A modified Xbox controller controls the position of the player. The right motor controller handles the Xbox and Cordec inputs and sends speed commands to the motors. This is the end of the project for me. It's all open source, so I'm hoping that someone will pick up this project and make a fully working system, tracking and all.